If you need to install a post in your yard, whether it's for a fence or a mailbox or anything else, there's three steps that you will want to follow to get the job done right and specific materials that will help you make this job easier. Let's get to it. For any posts that you're gonna put in the ground or that will touch the ground in your yard, you want a treated post. Untreated posts will rot very fast. Treated posts will rot over time, but they will last significantly longer. Get the treated post. Second, you're gonna need some gravel or crushed stone. You'll be putting this at the bottom of your hole and I'll explain why in a minute. Third, get some fast setting concrete. I like this quickcrete fast setting mix. I mix it right in the hole, very easy and does not take a lot of time to set. Step number one in the process is to dig your hole. There's a few different ways you can do this. You can use a good old shovel. You can upgrade to a post hole digger. That'll kill you over time. And if you're digging a lot of holes like I am, you can get yourself a gas powered auger. First, the circumference of your hole needs to be at least two to three times the size of the width of your post. If you're putting a four x four post in the ground, it needs to be at least eight inches to 12 inches in circumference. Second is the depth. And I like to take the height of my post that's going to be above ground and cut that in half or in a third. Below the ground, you need to go a third to a half of that height deep. For me, I'm putting a four x four post in the ground that's gonna be four feet above and two feet below. Another reason why I'm using this auger. It comes with an eight inch bit and I can take this baby down two feet plus a handful of inches. More on that in a moment. Now you always wanna check the measurement of your hole depth before you move on to the next step because you don't wanna get your post in the ground and realize you didn't go deep enough. I wanted to go two feet and a few inches. That's two feet and a few inches. I mentioned earlier that you're gonna to wanna to put gravel in the bottom of your hole, and this is where step two comes into play. With our hole dug, we move on to step two, where we're gonna put gravel in the bottom of the hole. Put three to six inches of gravel in the bottom of your hole. Just make sure that you account for that in your measurements when you're digging your depth. The gravel serves two purposes. One, it helps with drainage underneath your post. The less water you have on the bottom of your post, the less chance you have of the post rotting over time so it has a drainage effect. But number two, and more importantly in my opinion, is getting the post set level. Using gravel or crushed stone gives you the ability to get it in place way easier than just putting it straight on dirt. Level out that gravel when you get it in just by hand. When you get the post in, it'll do a better job. And then one last time, just double check your measurement. I should be at about two feet right at the surface here. Now I put a little too much gravel in, so I need to take some out. This is why these measurements are so darn important. There we go, two feet. I recently discovered these Johnson post and pipe levels. I used to use levels manually on the sides of my posts. This thing has made leveling the posts significantly easier. So take your post and pipe level and just strap it around the post itself. Once you have this in place, you can use the two leveling marks to get it close. Don't worry about it being perfect right now. We'll get there in a second. So now you wanna grab a couple of spare pieces of wood, just a couple of old two by fours. They don't need to be long, they'll be perfect pre-drill some screws into the ends of the boards because we're going to use these to hold the post in place. Now you want to install these boards in opposite directions. The first one you'll want to have going this direction. Don't worry about your post coming out of level here. And the second one you want to have going the opposite direction. So now as you level out your post, you can dig your boards in to keep the post level. Okay, the post is level. We have our boards in place holding it in place, which brings us to step three and the dirtiest part of this whole thing. Yes, it's worse than digging the darn hole. It's putting the concrete in the hole. Quickcrete's formula says that you should pour the whole bag in and then put a gallon of water in the hole for every 50 pound bag that you put in the hole. I actually changed the process a little bit and I put half of the bag in, then half of the water, let it sit for a little bit. I'll even mix it around and then I'll take the other half of the bag and pour it in and put the remainder of the water in. I've just had problems when I've done this in the hole recently where it doesn't seem to mix properly. This seems to help the process move along a little bit faster. Once you get the last half bag of concrete and the water in the hole, double check your level to make sure that you've not pushed yourself off. If you need to wiggle the pole to get it back in place, now is the time to do it before this concrete sets. When you pour your concrete in the hole, you want it to be three to four inches from the top of the hole. So however many bags you need to put in, make sure you follow that instruction. 
You also have to let it sit for four hours in order to hold any weight on this post. That's per QuickCrete's instructions. And I always follow that instruction. Once it hardens, you can take the dirt from the ground, push it back into the top three to four inches of that hole and move on with your project, which for me is putting up a fence. And if you wanna know a little bit more about how to build that fence, click or tap on this video. And until the next time, keep doing it yourself.